Hi, this tutorial was requested by a user named CLXFIFA and he asked me how to make a custom transition like this one in After Effects. It's pretty simple, we just need to make a few masks and then add a couple of keyframes and that's it, so let's start. I'm going to create a new composition that's 4 seconds long and I'm using the HDTV 1080 preset. I'm going to call it uh, main. And then I'm going to create a second composition and I'm going to change its name to footage. And now I'm going to add a solid into this um, composition and I'm going to apply um, gradient ramp to it. You can put whatever you want inside of this composition. You can use some video or an image or whatever you want, but I'm just going to use a solid right now. So I'm just going to change this. I'm going to change this to radial. And that's okay. And then I'm going to import this composition into the main um, composition. And now I'm going to turn on grid and I'm going to click on view and I'm going to enable um, snap to grid. And now what you need to do is you need to duplicate this solid um, four times. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create the exact um, same transition uh, that you saw in the beginning of the tutorial. So right now I'm going to start drawing um, these shapes. I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to make a shape that's going to be five squares wide and one and a half squares wide at the bottom. And now once I'm done drawing it, I'm just going to make sure that each point um, has snapped to the grid exactly where it needed to. And now I'm going to click on this second layer and I'm going to draw a shape um, that's going to be um, three squares wide. Okay, I'm just roughly drawing this and then I'm going to fix it. Okay. And... That looks good. Now I'm going to click on this uh, layer and I'm going to draw the opposite of the first one. Um, this shape is going to be one and a half um, squares wide at the top and five squares wide at the bottom. So let me just make sure that each point is exactly where it needs to be. Okay, um, then I'm going to create a second shape and this one is going to be four squares wide just to make it a bit um, different. And now I'm going to adjust this. Okay. Okay. And yeah, that's it. And now with this remaining um, composition, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the space um, in the middle. And now I'm just going to adjust it to fill in this huge gap that's remaining. Okay. Now, once I'm done making these, I'm going to click on this composition and then I'm going to shift click on the last one. And I'm going to press B, which is going to bring up the position property. Now, with all of these layers selected, I'm going to click on this stopwatch to create a first set of keyframes. 
Then I'm going to press shift and page down to move 10 frames forwards and I'm going to create a second set of keyframes. Now I'm going to select um, these three compositions and I'm going to uh, change the value of the first keyframe by moving them up there. Then I'm going to select um, these two and I'm going to move um, these down here and now when I select um, all of these layers I want this line to match so now if I do a ramp preview this is what we made up to this point then I'm just going to ease these keyframes by selecting them and pressing F9 and then I'm just going to um, do this and that's going to make this animation. Now I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the composition and I'm going to create a new set of keyframes. Then I'm going to move 10 frames backwards by pressing shift and page up. And then I'm going to create a second set of keyframes so on the last keyframe I'm going to move these three layers to the left and I'm going to move these two layers to the right. And now I'm just going to adjust these keyframes to look like this. And if I do a RAM preview this is what I made. So now let's take a look at the whole um, transition. So that's how you can create a custom transition. You don't have to use um, the same shapes that I did. You can use as many layers as you want. You can create um, different shapes and different sizes. It's all up to you. This is just a basic tutorial to show you how to do this on your own. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to support me, then please give this video a like. And if you like my other tutorials, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.